G'day everyone, this is Lachlan Black from AutoCADTrainingBlog.com and today I have another tutorial from for you guys, uh, straight from the guys at Daily AutoCAD and this one is using the union and the subtract command. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw that shape that you see there by using the union command to join and the subtract, can, uh, the subtract command to take things away. Okay, so we'll get started by moving into plan view. By typing plan like so. And there we go, we'll just pan around there. And we'll move that shape over to the side so we can get a better bit of room over here. Okay, now to get started, what we do is we need the box command. So we'll start that command by typing box like so. And then I will just select a point to start the first corner. And then as in the tutorial at Daily AutoCAD, we are using the at coordinate like so. So we type at, and then what this does is it does a coordinate relative to the last one. So we'll go 60, comma 40, and then hit enter. And the height is 15. So there we go, it's just done it back. So we'll just go, I oh, will actually just move it. Up here in line. Okay, now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna draw another box that goes at the back and stands up. So to do this properly, we'll orbit and get a view of the back corner here. There we go. And what we want to do again is we want to type the box command like so and then we choose this bottom corner so make sure you have your object snaps on or your O snaps and then we choose that corner and again we type at and then we type 60 comma negative 15 so make sure you have the negative there and then comma 45 like so and then that adds a box like that and now what this has done is just those coordinates they moved it was we typed in 60 first which moved it 60 in the x direction then we typed negative 15 which moved it negative in the y direction so it made it so that it was going into the previous box and then it gave it a height of 45 okay now we'll just orbit back around this back to the front here and now what we need to do is we need to create a 15 by 15 by 15 box. So we'll just type box and we'll start creating it and we'll type 15 in there and then hit tab and then 15 in there and then a height also of 15. Okay, and what we need to do with this one is we need to use the 3D move command. And what we do is we just grab it by the midpoint, like so, just the midpoint of that front square, and then we snap it to the midpoint up here in our box. And then as you can see, that's moved into position there. And now what we have to do is we use the union and subtract command to make it all one solid object. Now you can use these over here. There's the union command there and there's a subtract command, or we can type them as like so, union, and then we just select the objects that we want to make a union out of, which are these two big, box, two big boxes, and then we hit enter, and they are now, if I hover over it, you might be able to see, they are one selectable object now. Okay, and the next one is what we have to do is we have to subtract this little square, little box. So what we do, is we select the object, as it says down in the command line, select solids and regions to subtract from, which we want to subtract away from this big box. And then we select the solid or region we want to subtract, and we hit enter. And there we go, that looks identical to that one. So that's how to use the subtract and union command. You'll use these a lot in your 3D modeling. So have a play around, get used to them, and yeah. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, for more tutorials, you can head to dailyautocad.com or autocadtrainingblog.com. 
And also, if you like this one and you're at YouTube or you're at one of the blogs, uh, please leave a comment and let us know you liked it. We always love hearing from you. Okay, bye-bye.